Okay guys, uh, today's video is going to be um, a follow-up to the last one with some further demos on uh, using uh, crossband um, setups in uh, vehicles. Um, the previous ones I showed how you could use them to form a repeater and um, a booster uh, setup. And uh, this one I'm going to show some other applications that if you have a crossband setup um, you can uh, use as well. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is where um, you have a uh, bunch of uh, small equipment, let's say like uh, these Kawasaki Mule or something like that, and um, you, um, you're you transitioned over to digital now, but you don't really want to put an expensive P25 radio in the Mule, and you can't really afford to do it, uh, but you do have a bunch of inexpensive UHF analog radios uh, that you could use. So this is a way of um, uh, using a, a vehicle that has a VHF, UHF combo to be a feeder, a bridge if you will, to uh, uh, another, uh, a smaller piece of equipment um, like, the, uh, like the mule here. And uh, basically you're going to be using the two UHF radios as a, as a, as a bridge or a link to get back and forth on the VHF radio. Um, let me just give you a, a demonstration uh, so you can see uh, what it looks like. Um, I have uh, here, I have the uh, VHF on the bottom and I'm in digital mode. And I have uh, the UHF here um, that's linked to it with a cable in the back between the DB25 and DB15. And um, this is a standalone uh, UHF uh, radio over here that's um, got the linking uh, frequency and PLs for, for this one. Uh, this portable is uh, also in digital mode. And when um, I transmit on the portable here, I'm going to come into the VHF in digital mode, come out with my audio going into the UHF analog over to this radio here. Uh, making the the trip out, so um, let me do a little uh, demo here. Testing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And um, coming back the other way, um, I'm now I'll be transmitting UHF to UHF, and then uh, VHF back to the portable here. Uh, testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, so that shows you uh, the back and forth uh, process here that um, uh, you would get between the vehicle and the donor thing here. So this essentially, um, if you have the VHF here on the uh, a repeater channel, this keeps this vehicle here in contact with that with that repeater, um, uh, so that you don't uh, lose connection with it, and um, you don't need the uh, to have to spend the money for uh, P25 for this kind of stuff. And this one vehicle right here could be uh, um, a donor to multiple, as, as many as you, as you want out here. Let's say you had four or five of these other things. You would only need one to be the donor radio to get you back onto the, uh, onto the digital system. Um, so that's one application. Let me show you uh, another application. And uh, that's if um, you want to... Uh, uh, have a, a a radio package for your for your for your station, um, but you don't want to hook up an external VHF antenna uh, because of lightning and a whole lot of other things. Um, if you're able to use your vehicle as the donor, uh, then you can simply install a uh, a UHF uh, radio inside the um, uh, station with a little rubber ducky antenna. Uh, or you can even buy a scanner, um, but um, anything that you got that can, uh, you know, listen to the UHF channel here. Um, the full-blown radio here, it has a, um, it has paging capability, so you can actually tone it out. And I'll show you that in just a sec. Um, but um, back to the mobile here, you, you got a couple of choices. Um, I don't, you know, everyone's got different equipment. I happen to have a whole bunch of uh, HYTs here and uh, some Rytrons as well. Um, so either combination, either Rytron and BK or HYT uh, and BK in low power mode 
and um, may even want to consider doing a shore power charger on the battery if it was going to be a, uh, an issue, uh, but I don't think it is. Uh, these uh, have super low power, like one watt uh, output power, so the, they draw very little current. Um, but anyway, um, once again, if you, uh, if you had um, a, a VHF radio with a UHF donor here, um, and you had multiple buildings, you could also get away with just putting scanners in all of them uh, and not have to worry about lightning with the external speakers and the inner building wiring and all that uh, good stuff as well. So that's another uh, convenience of having the, the little UHF uh, uh, transmitter there. Um, let, me, uh, let me give you a demo uh, of how that works. Um, once again, uh, we, we got our same setup here. This will represent the vehicle, and this radio here will represent the, uh, the, the base radio inside the uh, station. Um, my portable here is going to represent uh, dispatch. So I'm going to, and what I have is I have the, the mobile here programmed for DTMF decode. Uh, and this one is really easy, it's just 5.5, five, uh, and it'll, it'll set off the decoder. And you'll see on the uh, VHF mobile here, it, uh, it'll give you the DTMF uh, decode. And I am in full digital mode. It does send DTMF um, uh, good in uh, P25 mode. So no worries about tones not working and all that good stuff. Uh, so anyway, let me, let me give you a demo. I'm going to just go ahead and tone this out like it was a fire station. So um, let me key up. And um, you see it uh, decoded the uh, call and uh, let out alert tone. And uh, this also has a programmable uh, logic output, so I could have hooked up a relay to power a horn or lights or whatever, you know, whatever you can imagine, essentially. Um, turn off the stove, all that good fire station stuff. And um, it'll um, um, time out. I got a program for uh, self self reset after 30 seconds and there you saw it uh, reset so but um this would um like i said also free up uh some other vhf equipment if if it was being used in a station um but um yeah just another alternative to the um uh, buying new radios essentially and if you got the if you got the, if you got the uhf equipment and you got a license for it uh might as well use it so Hope that helps, and we'll talk to you soon.